Good morning, I'm Morgan Donner, and today we're going to keep the intro very short and sweet. I'm going to show you how to sew a square gusset on your sewing machine. First, I'll show you the basic method with raw seam allowances inside, and then I'll show you again using French seams for a cleaner finish. One of the most common uses for a square gusset is to make a shirt or tunic, so I've put together a few pieces here to represent the torso or body, the red for the sleeves, and of course the gusset. I've drawn out the seam allowances here so you can clearly see where I will be sewing. The first seam will be connecting the top gusset edge with the sleeve, like so. I'm going to sew right on top of that black line, starting at the corner of the square here. When aiming for a precise spot, I like to lower the needle manually by turning the hand wheel on the side of my machine. Stop sewing before you reach the fabric edge though, we'll need this little bit of allowance here to be unattached. Success! First seam down. Now the right edge of the gusset will be sewn to the other side of the sleeve, like so. Make sure you match up those corners. This is the seam that we already sewed, and this one is next. Don't sew from the sleeve side since you can't see where to stop. It's better to start on this side, in the corner. Whenever you're locking or, or knotting your thread down by sewing back and forth a little bit on each end, take care not to go past the seam allowance corner. Two seams down, and this corner is still nice and free. Now you can see on the sleeve where the stitching from the gusset ends, so let's stitch up the rest of the sleeve. Starting right where the previous stitch ends, I'll lower the needle into place and then sew like normal. The sleeve half is sewn, so let's go ahead and connect the body to the sleeve. I like to use the top of the sleeve and the body as my starting point. I ironed these pieces of fabric while they were still folded in half, which makes it very easy to see where to connect them. When you sew this seam, make sure you stop right where the previous line of stitches starts. Continue to carefully start your stitches by manually lowering that needle right at the start of that marked seam allowance. Attach the third and the fourth sides of the gusset in exactly the same way as we did for the first two. Yeah! Now finish off the whole thing by sewing the side seam for the blue torso fabric. All done! And that right there is a basic way to sew a gusset. And it looks all very well and good on the outside, but inside we do have all these raw edges to deal with. You could leave it be and let it fray over time, or you could hand sew the seam allowances down by folding them under like so on the side here, or, or like this for the gusset. Or you could machine top stitch them in place if that's maybe for a more modern garment. Or if you're lucky enough to own a serger, you could also just serge all these edges before you put them together. Or for yet another option, you could consider sewing the whole thing with French seams instead, which I'll now demonstrate. It is a little bit more complicated, so I really wanted to show you that regular gusset first, so you kind of have the basics down. I haven't marked out the seam allowances on this side like I did for the first one, but be aware that I'm going to be using a much smaller seam allowance for this half. Also, when using French seams, you always really need to kind of keep track of which side of your fabric is the right side, since we're going to need to flip it inside out a couple times. Of course, now that I have decisively written outside for demonstration purposes, I realize that the other half of the sample is currently on the inside, but whatever, ignore that, let's move on. Let's sew the first side of the gusset to the sleeve. Then 
This time, I've gone all the way to the edge, since this side will be covered when we sew it to the body, but do still make sure that you leave the seam allowance part open on the end closer to the wrist. Sew that second gusset edge. And then finish off the rest of the sleeve seam. I sewed all of these seams with a fairly narrow seam allowance, maybe a quarter inch or so, but I am going to go ahead and trim them down even smaller here, mostly to kind of clean up those fraying edges. Flip it inside out and then iron down those fluffy seams to make them flat. There we go, much better. Now sew those gusset seams again. Do make sure that when you sew this second round, you use a slightly larger seam allowance so that the first round is completely encased in this new seam allowance. And done! It's a little bit hard to see here with the white thread on white fabric, but on the red side, you can see where we need to go ahead and finish off that sleeve stitching. The sleeve is completely done, so let's go ahead and attach it to the body now. First, do make sure that you have all of the correct outside pieces facing outside. Instead of stopping at the gusset like we did before, we can just carry on through, but do make sure that you stop just before the end of the gusset. I don't know why I didn't show you this for the first basic half of this video, but uh, do consider flipping your sleeve inside out after you put that first pin in. It'll be a little bit easier to sew on your machine this way. Oh, and we're back to sewing narrow seam allowances, by the way. The sleeve is all tucked in, so let's tackle that last bit of blue side seam. All these lovely little ragged thread bits need to go, so let's go ahead and trim them away. Flip the whole thing inside out and then pin the same sleeve seam again from the inside. Do make sure that you start and stop at this corner here of the gusset. Also, remember to increase your seam allowance sizes again. Sew the blue side seam again from this side. And there we go, all done guys! The French seams here are maybe a little visually heavy. You would normally reserve this technique for lighter fabrics, but I think that the thick fabrics I use here work well enough for tutorial purposes. I hope that was helpful, and if you find yourself trying to remember in a couple of years from now how to do French seams on a gusset again, but can't quite remember where to find this video again. The big thing that you need to remember is that you need to sew the sleeve and the gusset first in their entirety, French seams and all, before attaching it to the body. Do that and you'll be golden. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you many great nights of happy sewing. Good night.